Joel on True Centurions, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Commander, where I brought this mod. I am Fleet Admiral Tirak of the battleship R.S. Phoenix as we continue our campaign against the United Federation of Planets, or more specifically, against the colonists currently sitting here on the planet of 9-5. Last episode, we assaulted this planet many, many times, blew up many, many battleships, and the planet is still not ours. Holy crap, this planet is tough. So we will continue to bash our heads up against it until we manage to grab it. So we will pop off the tile and pop right back onto the tile so we can actually do some missions here. A shipyard assault. Apparently, these locals out on the fringe back beyond of nowhere have built themselves a shipyard and are looking to create their own defense force. The Federation, of course, responding to this immediately and heartwarmingly by sending a dreadnought, a battleship, the BBX, one of the largest heavy vessels they can possibly field. In order to destroy them, they have sent, of course, us the Fides and a B-11V, the IKV Victory. So, we should be in relatively good condition to uh, steal this planet right from under them. Let's increase our speed up until the point where we can no longer do so. Overload the phasers. Plasma torpedoes are already set to enveloping. We're going to wait until the phase capacitors charge to begin prepping other things. Although we did spawn relatively close to the enemy, I believe. Normally we start a little bit further away. And there we go. All that energy freed up from the phaser capacitor to throw into a forward shield. To throw into a 4 and a 2 here on the ECM ECCM system. Our electronic warfare system. One of the reasons why fighter combat in Star Trek works. And if you don't believe me, well, I disagree with you. So currently scoring off against this dreadnought. I have no idea what his name is. Well, let's find out. We're 53 points away. We're more than a turn away. We'll also increase our speed by 4 to get up to our speed of about 11. Getting a little sneak peek of everything that's going on out there. According to our scanners, we have found it is the USS Hope. What an aptly named vessel to send to try and save these colonists from our dominion. Although Hope is normally the name of a medical ship. So, Federation, you want to tell us something. We're now getting into maximum range of the Stardox. I don't want to look away because I have a full map of everything that he's got going here. Prepare to engage with pseudo torpedoes. Select you and select you. And I'm going to try a little bit of a longer range blast this time. We shall fire at a range of 25 and see what it does to him. It's not going to be the whole show, so that may uh, make him not so susceptible to this. He has engaged with his weapons. We are able to bounce them off our defenses and prepare to launch our own pseudo frigates if he buys it, which I don't think he will. I mean, at range of 25, even with anti plasma torpedoes, it's a little bit. Oh, he bought it. Oh, wonderful. Continue to turn. Harass and harass. So he has launched his f fighters. He also launched his pseudo frigate. Where is his fighters? There's his fighters. Prepare to engage with our phasers. And we will also allow us to extend this out a bit so that when we fire our real weapons, we will be at a reasonable range. They are coming in at us. Fire the weapons. There we go. We've taken out all those fighters. Locked on target. Fire light plasmas. And fire heavy plasmas. And there we go. That's a massive titanic wave right there. Continue to turn. Let's bring around the plasma S torpedo so that we can add that to the nastiness. And chunking down all of his shields. They're completely gone. The F-type plasma torpedoes hitting his actual hull. Allowed that to happen. Set to normal. Set our phaser capacitor. Now nah, we'll see where it is. Increase the speed a bit. We can actually go up to a speed of 19 if we willingly take the sacrifice from the phaser capacitor. Our defensive plasma torpedoes more than capable of handling these Marak shipyards. And wow, that's a lot of incoming fighters. Lots of damage. 214 damage dealt by those fighters. And remember, those fighters only had phaser threes to work with. Now, granted, we did help out a little bit with our phasers, but not a huge amount. And our defensive plasma torpedoes engaging. Wow, he's down to a speed of 2.8. And now he's shattered. Excellent show. Target the star dock. We're going for them next. Uh, make sure that we have our plasma torpedoes once again set to enveloping mode. No reason not to. How's our power consumption? We don't have enough. So if you if you would drop down in speed a bit so we can get some more. There we go. Uh, we do not need phasers in defensive mode, I don't believe. So just double check. Yep, they are not on that. And the defensive plasma torpedoes are engaging. Picking off the incoming missiles more than easily. As we'll just set our course. I do kind of want to bring back my pseudo frigates. But I would rather take them to harass. As long as we keep them at range, they won't get shot at, or at least not dangerously shot at. Increase the speed of time. We do have, wow, a lot of missiles coming in us right now. Defensive plasmas are operating. Ooh, we grabbed it just in time. We have to wait just a little bit for our uh, plasma Ds to recharge. I may have to set my phasers to defensive mode to protect against this. Because uh, we have a lot of incoming missiles. 
grabbed and grabbed. And there we go, our defensive systems once again engaging, trying to uh, make up for all the incoming fire. Are you guys coming, or are you just sort of trundling along way back there? You you're meant to help me out, not just, uh, yeah, in this game sometimes. Looks like our Plasma R's were taking quite a long time to charge, although I suppose that makes sense. We are, after all, engaging a whole bunch of tractor beam systems. All those missiles and not a one given war as our defensive systems are more than up to the task of handling all of this incoming firepower. Go down once again, just the... Eh, no. Because the, uh, the problem is that, depending on the speed of time you're running it, will change, like, when these things get intercepted, if they get intercepted at all, which is a bit of a problem. So we can't quite run just at maximum speed right up to the target. We will, of course, select our two R-type plasma... They're not quite ready, never mind. Uh, we will select our S... S and now we'll have to get closer if we want to engage with the S as well. We need to trick him into dumping his wild weasel. Not that he has too much protection against the point blank range shot. There is that, so we can just park right outside of him. And we'll probably end up doing that. But for now, we'll engage with the S type plasma torpedoes. Let's see what he does with it. The only thing is, I just would prefer not to have to, you know, wait three turns after wasting plasma torpedoes. And there goes his wild weasel. It has been deployed. And can I hit you with a phaser? Normal phaser, we don't need the overload. Uh, hitting these things is not easy. Too far away, normal. Couldn't hit that either. I'm not, I have to wait. I have to wait until the attack shift goes away. And firing pseudos means that we don't get the advantage of actually taking that out. So we're gonna slow down. Nice and, well, stop. Wait for this to go away. Because once it does, we'll be able to engage with all our plasma. Or maybe not crap. Um, hey, do you want to surrender as I wait for the shuttle to go away? Yeah. Uh, just to bait it out, if he has one, he did not. Oh no. Oh no, I thought it had gone away. It had not. All phasers. Please turn back. Please turn back. I don't think it will. Oh, for God's sake. I hate this. I hate this so very much. All weapon select, just engage at will. We'll chunk through it the old fashioned way with phaser firepower. Um, what? Why were we not targeting this? There we go. And defensive, are you not going to work? Apparently not? Okay, we've lost a shield. What the heck? Phasers to point defense, I guess. Hi. Do you have, do you have something? No? Yes? Die. This will end him, no problem. Waste of time and effort. Hi, I'm coming for you next. So increase the view. I think our d -Rex are out. Yeah, there's none ready and there's no reloads. So we no longer have point defense systems. And because these are, uh, I believe, B-Rex, they uh, still have some some form of defenses on their own. So now we just have to slowly trundle on over here and handle this. Hi, uh, what the heck are you guys doing? Let's send them back home. Returning to base. The AI on these missions does not seem to understand that we are here to destroy the star bases, and uh, it is only rarely that they figure that out. Someone needs to go through and figure out what the heck's going on with that, because having my ships randomly fly off the map for what I can tell is no apparent reason is kind of frustrating. And we have to bait it, so we'll bait it. And this time, that will die. Wonderful. Uh, prepare all other plasma torpedoes. There it goes, the attack ship is gone. This will actually hit him. Chucking down all of his defenses. All phasers select. Get ready to hit him once we hit a range of five. There we go. And on to the last of the star docks for a colossal waste of everybody's time. We can now go down to zero because at this point he's out of ammunition. And wow, that's a lot of missiles that you fired from a very long way out. Ah, uh, AI, never change. Actually, no, please do change, improve, get better because that's that was a waste. This mission is taking way longer than I wanted it to because I had, you know, hoped that we could take this planet and I'm not 100% sure that we will take this planet with this operation. So a whole bunch of missiles did get launched. We would like to engage as well. Let's pick up our speed because we can. And uh, if we don't make it there in time, I'm going to be somewhat disappointed because, you know, you came in at the last second to finally end things. Hey, glad you decided to show up. There we go. Mission complete. 
Stardocks are no more. If you had shown up a little bit earlier, we would have finished that a little bit earlier. But I suppose I can't complain too much. At least the Klingons did send a battleship in order to help out. Which, you know, was actually helpful. Allowed us to get in an excellent position to take on a battleship. The tile is still neutral. What do we have to do to take this tile? Another planetary assault, which we will go on. Because planetary assaults have a serious effect on planets. I choose to believe. Hopefully. With the red alert, there is another vessel hidden somewhere off here. We are once again escorted by a B-11. It is the Conqueror, so not the same one. And this is a phaser-armed planet. This planet is ready to rock. Also, this is a BBV. So we're currently squaring off against a very nasty customer. So it applies with torpedoes to enveloping the normal phasers to the overload. And uh, it's going to be interesting. Let's make our course to whatever this direction happens to be. And increase our speed to... That's... That's good enough. Make sure that we set our forward shields to reinforce on the forward hardpoint only. Thank you. And we do want to extend this out a little bit. Make sure that he has to pick which direction he wants to go. Give whoever he's not facing an advantage, which we would very much like. Uh, we are currently charging up our shields of 31 points of energy. So, of course, we will go in here. Four and two. Wonderful. And the other vessel is also a battleship. And it is also a battleship carrier. So two battleship carriers now versus us and a battleship carrier. Interesting problem. It's going to be a lot of fighters. That's going to be 32 fighters that he's going to deploy. And that is, um... That is not something I'm looking forward to. We are going to be able to completely wipe out his shields in one pass. That much we do know, but... I'm a little bit concerned. Just because fighters. We are going to want to keep our speed going a little bit higher than usual. How's our power consumption? 23 points of energy in the forward? Alright, that works for me. Keep spreading out. Keep going around. Make sure that we have a nice big separation here. Uh, just for the early engagement, then we want to get in nice and close to each other for mutual support. Plasma torpedoes are almost ready to rock. A little bit longer on this one because it started unloading a bit because we started putting power into our defensive systems a little bit earlier than usual. So plasma S torpedoes are fully armed. One of our R's, two of our F's, and the second R shall be ready shortly. 26 points of energy currently in the forward shield right now. And as we swoop around, are you going to commit to a direction? Ooh, let's let's figure out what you're gonna do with this one. So the battleship carriers have launched their fighters, and he has begun his long-range skirmishing. They're both going to focus on the courageous. So now let's turn right on in hard and pick up some speed so we can get in on this. If his fighters come for us, we'll we will hang back and we'll spend just a turn blasting away with them. Are you going to turn into me now? Because I am half expecting that. Or are you going to let me sort of come up behind you? Need more energy because we are coming up directly behind him. This will not wipe out his forward shields, unfortunately. That is going to be a slight problem. So he did start to fire in our direction, and he is turning in our direction. Oh, wrong button. I want this screen here. And kudos. Let's, let's make sure he reacts. The Powell, of course, being our enemy here. And slow way down. Of course, he's going to react to this. He has to. He There he did. Okay. So he did react. Sort of in the nick of time, I guess. So we can launch our pseudo frigates in harassment mode and hope... Uh, no, that ship is coming in. I don't want to dump them in front of the, uh, Richards. So, turning on in now. Let's get our forward heavy weapons engaged. And 25 points of energy, or 28 points of energy into the forward shield. Prepare to engage with all heavy weapons. Uh, lights first. And everything else now. So, combo blast right there. He has picked up his speed. Engage with that. We've knocked out one of his shields, so we're getting a nice bunch of good hits. We are basically going to combo drop a mine here. We want to pass through here as fast as we can. Just get out the other side. Uh, plus, we can us back to normal mode. We did manage to keep most of our systems intact. The stern shield went down right at the end. Not great. Uh, he is, of course, mining us quite badly. So we are coming around. Starboard uh, system starting to come online. If we keep the forward shield intact, that's going to be really important in this mission. We do want to get a little bit further away from the enemy. Purely because I don't want him beating accurate phaser shots at me. As long as we keep our ECM going, we should be okay. Okay, took him out. So he has, I think, no more fighters. Patch that, fix that, keep coming around. Now I'm going to keep focusing on this battleship. This battleship is essential to going down. That's why, because even a hurt battleship is a dangerous battleship. And do I dump a mine on top of him? I really want to. I 
think I need to continue this turn, though, because the Richards is working his way around to our turn. Firing away with the phasers. And he is firing defensive or er, proximity photon torpedoes on us. Uh, we are committed to this turn. We gotta come on in here so that we do not present too much of a weak target. There we go. We've taken out the first one. It's down just to the Richards. Our forward shield is still intact. Let's put our uh, starboard rear shield onto him. Target you with the phasers or plasma torpedoes if they come up first. Because the phasers are currently all on recycle right now. Uh, prepare to engage with plasma torpedoes. Uh, as soon as that... Come on, active just a little bit sooner. Now, now would be good. There we go. All phasers. Anything you've got. Uh, that's, that's it for phasers. I've got S10 plasma torpedo. More phasers. There we go. Okay, all of his fighters are dead. Unfortunately, we're not in a great position to engage this guy. Um... How about pseudos? They're not quite ready to go. So we are going to, unfortunately, have to bait it out. Oh, this. Unfortunately, no. We've made the turn too far already. Fire that uh, as soon as you can. And that to bait out the shot. I'm in expecting a pseudo. A uh, wild weasel. And are you up? There he goes. He did deploy his wild weasel right there. Which will force that uh, plasma torpedo to eat it. And oh, I don't want to get too close to this because this is going to hurt. But I don't think I have much of a choice here. All phasers. Chunk open that. Plasma torpedoes. Engage now. And we do have a big hole in the ship right now. Fortunately, we were able to defend ourselves. Uh, let's get that big hole away from him. Uh, any phasers? Plasma torpedoes? How close am I? Uh, 1.2. That's too close. We're going to wait until we get a little bit of distance before we start engaging. We are now passing once again into range of the planet. Stern firing phasers. Let's give us a little bit of distance. Stern shields are currently gone. And wait till we get to a distance of three before we fire that stern plasma torpedo. No, fire it now. Just get it out there. There we go. I want to hit through that down shield, hopefully. Yes? Good. Okay, 30 damage right through that down shield. And he's taking quite a few hits. It's time to disappear, folks. Slow down. We're going to sit here under cloak and we're going to patch things up a little bit. Because I don't want him to get some any accurate shots on us. So I'm perfectly content to sitting here, coming along at basically minimum speed, and fixing things. Because we need to. Also, that planet. Dangerous. Don't want to fight well within range of that planet. How are you doing? You're basically untouched. So if you could come around, swing in, and wipe out the Richards, that'd be cool. You think you could do that anytime now? No? Ugh. Keep patching the engines. We do need to finish repairing. We have four more points of energy that we need to recover. Our forward shields are intact. Like, completely intact, which is excellent. Because that will allow us to uh, be aggressive with this planet here. Instead of, you know, having to be incredibly worried about having them smash through our forward shields. Unfortunately, we're not in a great position to hurt the Richards much more. His shields are relatively intact, and I don't think I can set my plasma torpedoes to enveloping mode while under flow. Uh, 9.8 points of energy? We could, actually. Uh, not defensive, enveloping. And set you to... 2.1, 6.5... Four point five, two point five. Okay, uh, looks like most of his shields, however, are out now. So good job there. The conqueror finally getting involved and actually doing something with this. We turned in just in time to face him. Unfortunately, we don't have a real good shot here. Are you going to pass over to your own mine in order to reveal us? Which honestly is not a horrible strategy. I would in fact probably do that, especially because I knew I would be able to use my uh, Gatling phasers to harm you. But no, you're going to turn right back into the Conqueror. We're just going to sit here under cloak. Because we are almost ready to rock. So wait until he gets a little bit of distance in on here. I don't want his Gatling Phaser to just chunk down my shield. Although I think his Gatling Phaser is just all fired. Come on, a cloak now. Hi. What you going to do? All the pseudos. Do you respond to this? You didn't respond to that. All the normals. Weaken him with the phasers. And plasma torpedoes. Nope, that's going to do him in. Excellent work. So we waited for a perfect opportunity, decloaked, and slammed him with a barrage that he simply could not handle. So we're going to uh, get out of this mine here and face the planet. A slow swing around. Thanks for that, Conqueror. Plasma torpedoes, uh, all but the stern one, should be in enveloping mode. Are they still? Yes. Uh... Yes, yes, and yes. Wonderful. So we may now swoop in to wipe out the planet. 
and we also have some repair work to get done. Uh, you're busted, and you're busted. Once again, these two hard points, it's the stern hard points generally for some reason that just seem to go down. Maybe it's because we take a lot of damage through the stern. But I do recall that in our earlier vessels, we also had a problem with, you know, stern phaser three is often going offline. So the planet, of course, will be extraordinarily well armed. And allow me to demonstrate that to you. Yeah, so we're looking at eight photon torpedoes and then two, four, six, eight phaser fours. This is gonna be hard. Well, not super hard. We know exactly what we're gonna do. We'll trundle up to a range of eight, of about 15. We'll fire all of our plasma torpedoes. It'll chunk down the shields and then we'll just start a long range bombardment, which will wipe him out and he won't be able to respond because we can put an absolute metric ton of energy into our forward shields. More if he keeps engaging the Conqueror because we won't have to worry about our forward shields. So let's pick up the pace a bit. We will uh, sap from our defensive budget in order to get there a little bit sooner so the Conqueror does not die. B-11Bs, of course, being uh, ships we don't want to lose. B-11Bs also not great sea ships, now that I think about it. They don't have a ton of alpha strike capability, which is really what you need to wipe out a planet. All right, select heavy plasma torpedoes. And also engage pseudo torpedoes. The reason why we're doing this is because, well, it'll eat up the phaser fire, which we need. And they're not real, so I don't care how much energy gets sapped from them. And range of 15, please, and heavy plasma torpedoes engage. All engines do all stop. Let's just drift on in here. Okay, so that was the pseudo torpedoes hitting the surface and eating up all the defensive fire. And now the real plasma torpedoes hitting. And our forward shields did hold. Excellent. Long range phaser. We only got 40, 40 damage through? Really? I suppose we only weakened a lot of his shielding. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. I think we can get within a range of 10. Oh, no, not, not with shields that low. Um, okay, so no more firing. No more firing the phasers until we've wiped out his uh, defenses. Once we've done that, then, you know, blast away all you wish. But until that happens, no firing the phasers. Because we need to be able to eat quite a bit of damage. Alrighty, plasma torpedoes are ready. So, pseudo... And real. Oh, no point in firing the axe. They are not going to make it through on this one. Alrighty, that's better. 130 plus 53. He still has a forward shield facing us, but we're starting to make progress now. Uh, we did, however, lose a shield. Which is not good. Uh, do I need to seriously spread these out? Because that would be bad. Prepare for another barrage as soon as we can. Although it looks like most of his systems kind of appear to be offline. Uh, pseudo torpedoes, select, nothing. Okay, so this is just gonna have to be the big chunk. Get through as best as you can. And knock the shields out again. I think we've actually knocked his shields out completely. Is that a probe? Let's find out exactly what he's... Yeah, he's done for. So let's just get within range. And... Engage the plasma torpedoes as well. And just begin phaser bombardment. How many people are left on the planet? Uh, three. So we will just get up into range, all up and select. And uh, stop. Right now. One last phaser barrage has done it. Slow down the speed of time. And we will go... Come on, keep going. There we go. Didn't want to send too many people. We don't need to send too many people. So forward shields are up. We're just going to sit here and wait for the planet to be ours. And hopefully this will do it. I mean, we finally did actually fight a planet that was a fully armed planet and equipped with two battleships for defense. Battleship carriers, no less. That's a lot of firepower. So did we manage to conquer the planet successfully this time, or have the locals continued to hold us off? According to them, the ship is ours, but let's see what the actual map screen says, because that's the important one. And how much prestige was that worth, too? 495-ish? I think that's how much it gives you for planets. 495, excellent. And it's finally ours, ugh. After, well, I suppose months of siege, if we go by the start date down here, we have finally managed to capture the planet here at 9-5. It will serve as the lichpin for our defenses, our corners, our assault. Not quite sure which, but it will be an integral planet to our plans. Anyway, I've been Tyrek. If you like what you've seen, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.